In all of its battles, the most important ones the heart will ever fight are the battles with itself. Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by shamanspiritcenter.com and littleshaman.org. That's me, Little Shaman. Today, I wanted to talk to you about spirit sickness and the unhealed heart. You may have heard the term spirit sickness, but what does it really mean? To put it very simply, spirit sickness is about the discomfort caused by imbalance in our lives. Where there is no balance, there is dysfunction or illness. Spirit sickness often results from unhealed trauma that has created physical, emotional, or spiritual wounds. For example, addiction is a symptom of spirit sickness. Coping with unhealthy amounts of fear, anxiety, guilt, shame, and anger are all symptoms of spirit sickness as well. In spiritual circles, we often find that there's not much difference recognized between physical, emotional, or spiritual sickness. All of these things are considered related and interconnected because all of these parts are related pieces of a connected whole. The unhealed heart is a deep spirit sickness that affects all of these related parts and many aspects of a person's life. In some situations, such as with pathological narcissism, it affects everything. For the mind, it affects thoughts, mindsets, emotions, values, and beliefs. For the body, it affects the immune system, the gastrointestinal system, the hormonal and chemical systems, the stress and fear responses, and much more. For your spirit, it affects faith and trust in all things. Faith and trust in all things becomes damaged. This is not just about religion. It's not just about God. It's faith and trust in everything, including yourself. The unhealed heart is on display around us all the time. So many people are walking around unhealed and hurting. We can see it at work in depression, anxiety, jealousy, blame, people-pleasing, and so many other common problems, including narcissism. We can see it in headaches, gastrointestinal problems, immune system issues, stress response, adrenal burnout, and more. Most of all, we can see it in insecurity, low self-worth, and lack of faith or trust in anything or anyone. People don't trust each other. They don't trust themselves. They don't believe in anything, including themselves. They're angry. They're hurting. They are unhealed. And because they don't trust anyone, including themselves, there's nowhere for them to turn. People dealing with the unhealed heart often don't realize it. They believe the problem exists outside of themselves and they look to other people to make them whole or to heal them or to fix them. But the unhealed heart creates a situation where the things it wants are not possible to achieve or receive because of the fear and the beliefs based in that fear. The unhealed heart fears trusting other people because it doesn't trust itself. It believes others may mean it harm because it harms itself. It betrays itself. The unhealed heart takes everything personally because it's focused on itself and its own pain. The unhealed heart assumes others don't value it because it doesn't value itself or believe in its own worth. Through the work on narcissism, it has become more and more clear that the unhealed heart is at the root of everything, not just for narcissists and not just for their victims, but for everybody. This is how toxic people become predatory. This is how vulnerable people become preyed upon. Both types of people are trying to do the same thing, get their needs met. And both types of people are trying to do this in an unhealthy way. The solution to the problem on both sides is to address the spirit sickness. It's to address the unhealed heart. The truth is, the only toxic relationship we really have is with ourselves. All our other relationships are simply a mirror of that. If you're interested in learning a little more about this, I have a program called Transrelational Healing, and you can find the outline for that on littleshaman.org underneath the tools section. That program was created to do exactly what we're talking about here. I hope this clears a few things up for you. As always, I look forward to your comments, questions, and suggestions, so please keep those coming. I take appointments online, over the phone, via text, via messenger, through email, and through Skype. So if you're interested in speaking with me one-on-one, you can visit littleshaman.org and click the book an appointment tab to do that. I teach workshops a few times a month. So if you're interested in seeing what we're running right now, you can visit littleshaman.org to do that as well. You've been listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by shamanspiritcenter.com and littleshaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman. May the Great Spirit bless you and have a wonderful day.